I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm Katie. And I'm Taylor. And this is your Tuesday, February 10th edition of Warrior TV News. This is a reminder that if you want to apply to be a member of National Honor Society, your packets and teacher recommendation forms are due by this Friday, February 13th. Once again, all NHS packets and teacher recommendation forms are due by this Friday, February 13th. Hey Warriors, want to have fun this Thursday or Friday night? Want to support the kids at Riley Hospital? Then come to the WCHS Auditorium at 6.50 p.m. to see three amazing plays for just $5. 10% of all ticket sales will go to the Riley Dance Marathon. See you there. Hey. Spring Musical. More details to come Thursday. Congratulations to senior football warriors Nick Ratty and Skylar Hall for signing their letter of intent last week to continue their education and football careers. They will become the 38th and 39th former warriors to play college football in the past decade. Congratulations again to Nick and Skylar. Ryan Hammond placed third at the Mooresville Regional this past Saturday and will wrestle this weekend at the Evansville Semi-State. The girls' swim team competed in the sectional finals on Saturday. They finished fifth out of 11 teams. They were only four points shy of third place. Many swimmers came back and swam lifetime bests again in the finals. The girls' 200 medley relay team of Joanna Urgesals, Avery Myers, Kylie Perry, and Sierra Cho rebroke their own school record. And Joanna Urgesals tied her record in the 100 backstroke. Congratulations goes out to all members of the girls' warrior swim team on a great season. Attention all track and field athletes. Track season officially begins on Monday, February 16th. If you plan on participating in track and field this year, you need to make sure you have your physical and concussion form on file before the first day of practice. If you have any questions, please see Coach Bangle. Attention Warriors. Here's a special announcement from Mr. Zolpin. Just a quick announcement to recognize one of our seniors for an outstanding accomplishment. Anthony Simpson has been recognized by the National Achievement Scholarship Program as one of 800 finalists from across the country for his performance uh, in, the, in the classroom. So congratulations, Anthony. Thank you. Keep up the good work. All right, finish well. Congratulations to Anthony Simpson for being one of 800 students chosen across the nation. Looking for a way to help Special Olympics? Join them on March 7 for the Polar Plunge at Eagle Creek. Transportation from the school to Eagle Creek will be provided that morning. You can sign up by going to Special Olympics Indiana, clicking on Polar Plunge, and searching for Whiteland Athletics team. You can either join Special Olympics for the nice cool dip in the water and, or simply donate to this year's Polar Plunge. Anyone interested in a career in IT, computing, software design, computer programming, or engineering, or if you just want to learn more about computer programming and computer science, please be aware of WCHS has two different classes that cover these topics. The classes offered are AP Computer Science and Computer Programming, which is a dual credit class. If you're interested in taking these classes, please see your guidance counselor. Central Nine Career Center will be hosting a Paul Mitchell open house this Friday, February 13th from 6 until 7 p.m. at the Paul Mitchell Salon located at 8751 U.S. 31 South, Indianapolis, Indiana. All students interested in CNI's cosmetology program should come to hear about the exciting education opportunity and understand the requirements. Seniors, don't forget to sign up to schedule an individual appointment with an admissions representative from Ivy Tech Reps. 
They will be here this Friday, February 13th. The sign-up sheet is with Mrs. Martin in the guidance office. Don't forget, Warriors, the yearbook staff would like WCHS students' help getting a wide variety of photos for this year's yearbook. Help your book out by following WCHS Yearbook 15 on Instagram and using the hashtag, hashtag WCHS Yearbook 15 when you post photos. Justin's will be here to deliver senior items on Wednesday, March 11th during lunch periods. Please pay by cash, money order, or cashier's check payable to Justin's. Seniors, your diplomas will be ordered soon. Please verify that we have your name as you want it on your diploma. See Mrs. Breidinger outside the library during GI or stop by Mrs. Short's office in the administrative hallway during the day to check your name. Seniors, it is the date you've been waiting for, the annual Senior Zoo Field Trip. The class of 2015 will be going as a group to the Indy Zoo on Thursday, April 16th during the school day. In order to go, a few things must happen. First, you must obtain the zoo field trip form from Mrs. Fuentes, Ms. R. Smith, Ms. Gunn, or the main office. Second, you must return this completed form with $6 before Thursday, March 12th. The sooner, the better. Finally, there must be over 40 adult slash parent chaperones attending the trip along with the students. That information is also available on the field trip form. In order to go and for this trip to be a success, all of these conditions must be met. If you have any questions, please see Ms. R. Smith in C-103 today. Don't forget, Warriors. Travel Club Meeting. At 6.30 p.m. In the LGI. February 17th. Information about the 2016 Europe trip will be given out. Make sure you don't miss it. And that's all we have for you on this edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one. Good luck to the girls' varsity basketball warriors as they compete in sectional competition tonight. Basketball begins at 5.30 p.m. Go Warriors!